So working in the supplement industry, I am faced on an almost daily basis with the realization that there are people in this industry intending to misinform and profit off of consumers who don't know that the product they're taking is not going to do the intended purpose that they're looking for. It's a really unfortunate thing that I have to work with every single day, but one of my favorite responsibilities that I have with PriceBot is being able to uplift and highlight companies that do the right thing. So today I want to talk about Whole Foods meal replacements, why you should be wary of products that say that they have you know, beef, eggs, salmon, uh, tons of like really nice carbohydrate sources and stuff like that, and who you should actually look to when you're looking for one of these products and be able to trust. So today I'm really excited because when uh, Access Labs reached out to us about working together as a business affiliate, not only was I really proud of just the opportunity to be one of their exclusive media partners, but also I was Right off the bat, I told them, I want to work with, with Homemade. I want to do some stuff on this. I want to talk about what it brings to the consumer and why it's different than your normal uh, meal replacement protein out there. So without further ado, let's jump in and talk about Homemade. Welcome to Price Plow. So one of the issues with the meal replacements on the market that are whole food sources is that, um, honestly, proteins for the la lack of, I mean, for the most part, are proprietary blends. Now, this is not a shot at Axe and Sludge. 99% of proteins out there are still listed in a proprietary way. Some people claim that the way that some of these companies like Nutribio are showing source and yield isn't really FDA compliant, even though they're doing a really nice thing. Some companies are not comfortable taking that stuff and putting it, th uh, putting it there. So um, I was, pretty moved to, to work on this. So what I did was I actually asked Patrick Williams to send me over a third party testing analysis for homemade. Uh, he sent it over so I could verify that the order that things are listed in the proprietary blend is valid and that they're actually still in pretty good dosages because obviously you could hide things if you still wanted to even if they're in the right order. So uh, I'm not going to post it up here because the lab is listed on there. I don't want uh, you know 100 people calling them and bothering them. That has happened before when I posted testing results. Uh, also there are some ingredients in there that kind of give away how they were able to pull off the awesome texture and flavor in here and I'm not interested in giving away uh, their proprietary information, their confidential information. So I uh, just wanted to, I mean, some of you guys are going to tell me that it means nothing that I'm ver verifying this or validating it and not posting it, but for whatever it's worth to you, uh, I have seen it, I do believe it, and uh, it, it checks out pretty well. So without further ado, I've, I've got some math I'm willing to give up on this, and I'm, I'm excited to tell you about it. So obviously, uh, if you have ever read a label before, you understand how to read one, you understand that the first ingredient is obviously the biggest ingredient dose out in there. So a whole grain oat flour. Now, there is a total of 46 grams of protein in here, so it's not surprising that the uh, oats are the first ingredient. Most of the time you see a carb first thing on a protein powder, you might raise a red flag for yourself. But here, I'm pretty excited to show whole, whole grain oat flour. I have no problem with oats. I love oats. Uh, they're annoying for me to cook sometimes, but uh, being able to mix them up here, I don't get any kind of gritty aftertaste or gritty moving down my throat type feeling. So I was, honestly, I was a little nervous when I was, first took this because I've had bad um, experiences with oats in the past, but this one's very smooth. It kind of reminds me of the um, the crust on the sweet potato pie. There's a nice texture to it, so it's, it's kind of cool. I'm assuming it's coming from the oats. But the first, uh, when we get into proteins, right after oats, is going to be whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate. Uh, so those two there are going to be your biggest proteins in here, and I'm willing to give up that there's 48 grams of protein and a little over 30 grams of that is coming from whey protein. So there may be some discussion here, some uh, debate over whether or not whey protein is a whole food source. For me, it comes from milk, uh, and uh, whey protein concentrate especially could be containing some very useful and valuable immunoglobins. So for me, I consider it a whole food source. If it's not synthesized, I consider it a whole foods. So um, happy that... <sighs> Here's my problem with meal replacement proteins that don't have uh, that, that don't have valuable amino acid profiles. If it is going to be a majority of beef protein, it's not coming from muscle tissue. It's coming from connective tissue. So it's going to be extremely high in glycine and proline. There's nothing wrong with collagen protein, but if you're selling a product under a brand that is really talking about muscle gains here, there's you know claims here for post-workout recovery. I think it's generally misleading to be uh, a majority of collagen protein, personally. Uh, 
I don't have a problem with collagen. It's helped me with my connective tissue in the past. I think it has a valuable place in your diet, but if you're getting a majority of collagen protein, I would not count that towards my daily allotment of protein. I just wouldn't personally. Um, I still take like twin labs liquid protein type collagen too. I don't count that towards my protein for the day. I just think it helps me out with my hairs, my skin, my nails, my connective tissue and stuff like that. So. What they did here was they started off with the whey protein because that's gonna help with your gains, guys. It's what you want for your muscle protein synthesis. But then they also follow it up with their brown rice protein, their egg white protein, other, uh, other sources of protein like their beef protein, their pea protein. That stuff is going to help with, honestly, the pea protein helps with some cool texture in there, but it also helps with differing um, values of amino acids. So obviously the beef protein here, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's an isolate coming from a steak, it's not. It's it's collagen protein, it's, it's connective tissue protein, it's high in glycine and proline, which is good in certain amounts, but I, like I told you guys, the whey protein makes over 30, 30 grams of that 48 gram serving, there's not that much collagen in here that it's gonna throw off the amino acid profile. You're also getting a lot of protein, you're not just getting 25 grams. Now, the first carbohydrate source we see after a whole grain oat flour is sweet potato, and they followed up with fiber salt. I can't stress enough how cool it is that these guys went with an actual soluble fiber as well as like other things than just proteins and carbs. A lot of companies would just throw protein, carbohydrate in, and call it a day. They've got digestive enzymes as well, as well as fiber in here. Fiber's gonna help move the mail, obviously important, and also anytime you're getting micronutrients, like a greens product usually, you don't see fibers in it because it's kind of expensive to add in. It's nice to see a patented fiber in here because this is gonna be replacing a whole food meal. Just like you'd be getting a fiber in a whole food meal, you're gonna be getting it in this powder here. Moving on forward. Natural flavors in here, uh, I mean, obviously they actually have actual sweet potato in here, so this thing is flavored uh, naturally, which is pretty cool. Nice to see that the uh, industry is moving more towards natural flavors. Uh, and they, uh, they have medium chain triglycerides. I'm gonna blow up their spot for one second. I'm gonna say that this is actual, this is Go MCT from Compound Solutions. It's not listed on the bottle, which I'm kind of surprised about because it's a really nice ingredient. Um, I, I do. I will be transparent that the full six grams of fat on the product does not all go MCT. So it's not like a huge dose of go MCT, but go MCT is a nice patented version of MCT. It's gonna help smooth out the protein, smooth out the, um, the consistency for you. So uh, nice little source of MCT there. It also has acacia in there, which is nice. It's not a huge dose, so we're not making any therapeutic claims on here, but it's nice to see them go a little bit of a step forward on there. Uh, they finish that off with sucralose, so it is flavored, uh, artificially, and a gum blend. Now, sometimes people forget about gum blends, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is a lot of different kinds of powders. There's pea protein powder in here, it's not the nicest powder. It'll give it a nice texture, but there's some weird flavors and, and, and stuff going on with it. So adding in the gum acacia, the guar gum, the xanthan gum is only gonna make it a better experience for you. Now, we finish it off with uh, sodium chloride, which is te technically probably just uh, an excipient to help make everything uh, mix better, but they put digest digestive which is a proprietary enzyme blend of amylase, lactase, protease, lipase, and cellulase. This is gonna help out with the varying different sources of carbohydrates and proteins here. Make sure that this isn't just sitting in your stomach and causing gas. Um, it is a high dose of whey protein, as well as a few different other proteins, so this could be tough on someone's stomach if it didn't have the digestive in there. Uh, I've taken this for about a week now. I, like I've said before, I have a bit of an iron stomach, but I haven't had any issues with this so far. So. It's a pretty simple, simple formula. It's kind of an intimidating block when you look at the text, but when you break it down, there's really not that much going on in it. It's a few simple sources of proteins, a few simple sources of carbohydrates. It's heavy on the oats, heavy on the whey protein, but that's not to say the dosage of like the sweet potatoes, the peas, the eggs, the beef, the stuff like that is 0.01% of the formula like it might be in other formulas out there. So, uh, guys, the sweet potato pie here, is actually honestly really good. I've never had a sweet potato pie in my life, uh, in real life. So I was a little concerned going in, but it's kind of like a if you took pumpkin pie and switched out the pumpkin for sweet potato. So it's very pleasant. Um, I wish that I could post the third party testing for you guys, but it's just, it's not in my blood to share confidential information. I know that you, I'm probably gonna get a bunch of private messages asking for it. I will not share it, guys, I won't, unless, uh, you know, Patrick and Seth over there let me. Uh, go wild with that. But anyway, guys, um, I hope that my testimonial for the product helps you uh, trust it a little bit more. I know that it can be hard to trust supplements out there these days. Uh, it is a, 
it's, it's a rocking product. It's got some cool stuff in it, and it does involve some other amino acid sources, which I'm a fan of. I don't think that we should be always eating whey protein uh, for our supplements. So, guys, go use coupon code PRICEBLOCK. Save a little bit. Try this out, and let me know what you think. Comment below if you have any questions. For all your other questions on Axe and Sledge, you can run over to pricebloud.com slash Axe dash Sledge. I know it's a little bit different, but uh, that's what we got for this one. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Welcome to Price Plow.